Welcome our students. Today, we are talking about brucellosis, features, transmission, diagnosis, and prevention. Let me start. Brucellosis is zoonotic disease. Zoonotic disease means disease of animals that can be transferred to humans under normal conditions. General features of brucella. Brucella are gram-negative cocobacilli, non-motile, non-capsulated, non-spore-forming and facultative intracellular ability to survive intracellularly in macrophages, in lymph node, spleen, liver, and bone marrow, ability to resist phagocytosis due to smooth lipopolysaccharide that inhibits phagosomal fusion, brucella have M antigen, A antigen, L antigen, and erythritol. I am brucella melitensis. I infect goats and sheep. I am brucella abortus. I infect cattle. I am brucella sues. I infect pigs. I am brucella canis. I infect dogs. Pathogenesis of brucellosis. The organisms in the blood of animals bacteremia and the brucella settle in the placenta, which contains erythritol, a growth factor for brucella causing placentitis and abortion. It settles in the mammary gland and is secreted in milk. Brucella doesn't cause abortion in humans due to the human placenta not containing erythritol. Modes of infection of brucellosis, ingestion of infected unpasteurized milk or raw milk or milk products, most common transmission, inhalation of infected aerosolized particles through laboratory, acquired infection, pay attention, please. No human-to-human -human transmission. Accidental inoculation of mucous membranes by aerosolization. Other modes of transmission. Contact with infected animals. Brucella begin from the site of entry. After that, the organism enter regional lymph node, passing to blood. Then, reticuloendothelium system, bone and heart, splenomegaly, arthritis, endocarditis, or meningitis. In acute stage, there are fluctuating intermittent fever and enlargement of lymph node, spleen GI1 backache. The patient presented with bacteremia. In chronic stage, brucella survive intracellularly, that is manifested by low grade undulant fever and granuloma formation. Organism is intracellular. Agglutinin titers may be high, recurrent fever, chills due to intermittent release of bacilli from granuloma. In the acute phase, two bottles of blood culture were inoculated, one incubated aerobically, the second one incubated in 5 to 10% CO2 for brucella abortus. Blood culture retained for 6 to 8 weeks, followed by cultivation on blood agar or brucella agar. Serologic diagnosis was done after two weeks. Standard agglutination test, 160 or more. Rapid slide agglutination test that is not affected by prozones. Combos test, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. Brucellin test is the skin test, as delayed type hypersensitivity. Agglutinins appear during acute phase and continue to rise. Tube agglutination test of brucellosis. Serial dilution of patients are done serum. Add equal volume of brucella antigen. Examine the tubes after incubation. For at 37C, Determine titer by the highest dilution, showing visible agglutination. What is the prozone phenomena? Let me explain to you. Sometime, in doing tube agglutination test, in diagnosis of acute brucellosis, we may note prozone phenomena. Prozone phenomenon mean absence of agglutination in the tubes containing high concentration of antibodies and positive in tube containing lower concentration. Causes of prozone phenomena. Presence of high level blocking antibodies or excess of antibodies. Let me explain. What is Coombs test? Serum may contain brucella antibodies that do not produce agglutination. Detection of non-agglutinating or incomplete antibodies by addition of rabbit anti-human globulin that appear in the subacute stage of infection. Coombs, titer, 140 considered positive. Brucelle can be prevented by prevention of brucella infection by live, Attenuated vaccine of cattle. Pasteurization of milk. What is the prozone phenomenon? What is the animal host in Brucella canis? What laboratory safety level is required for culturing Brucella? What is the main mode of transmission for brucellosis? 
Does brucella cause bacteremia or toxemia? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video and activity. Goodbye and best of wishes.